and welcome to the second development diary of Into Dust. This week will be a little different and actually the next few weeks will be a little different. I will explain better in a little bit. First, I just want to say why this week was different because I'm recording this afterwards. I think I'm going to start recording these intros afterwards. I think it will work better that way. This week I had a lot of things I had to do. I had to go to the maternity clinic on Monday and yesterday on Wednesday. So I had to change YouTube day from Wednesday to Thursday today. So that means technically I lost one day this week, a little bit more than a day actually, but it doesn't matter. Most of this week, honestly, I had planned to do some research, plan some stuff. So on Thursday, on the first day of this week, I spent the whole day researching. So there's actually no footage from that day at all. For Thursday, I continued my research, but I went to a cafe Fest, brought my camera with me and I ended up doing a little bit of 3d over there and then I worked on um, Saturday and Sunday a little bit more normally but not completely normally and I will get into that a little bit later why this week I had a lot less time than initially planned on Monday I went to the maternity clinic and I worked again on Tuesday and Wednesday I went to the maternity clinic and I'm working on YouTube videos today so the next week we'll have one day less it's going to start on Friday and the next few weeks until the middle of May are going to be scarce a little bit in terms of work and the reason why is that we are moving. We are moving to a new house two weeks from now. So I have to pack everything. There's a lot to pack. My wife is pregnant. She can't strain herself. So I'm going to have to take care of that mostly by myself. And uh, thankfully you have people helping us with cars. So that's good. Moving will disrupt my work. There is no way around that at all for the next few weeks. We're moving to a bigger place. It's going to be more comfortable. I'm getting a standing desk because, well, it's really tiresome to be working, sitting down the whole day. I feel like I need to get up. Like when I was working in a company, I would just get up. We'll talk with my coworkers for a little bit while making coffee. But here, like, I just get up, I make coffee, and I come back because I'm alone at home. So there's not many more reasons to walk around the house than to make coffee or something. But yeah, that's why the next few weeks work will be a little scarce. And then at the end of May, I have a friend visiting me from Portugal. That week, I'm going to be showing them Tokyo. So I'm not going to work at all on that week because I'm not going to abandon my friends. On that week, I might just record, like, the places we go to and make, like, a travelogue. I don't know. It's a different thing. It's a different week. So that might be interesting. I don't know. But yeah. Without further ado, what did I have to do this week? So this week was research and planning, mostly because I had a lot of planning I had to do because as I said on previous video, I was working on Into Hell first. This just was like a sudden decision that I should work on this first. There's still a lot of details I need planning. So that's what I had planned for this week and keep doing the stuff that I couldn't finish last week. Spoilers, I couldn't finish everything that I couldn't finish last week, but I did improve some stuff and I added some other stuff. So you, you will see. Let's go to Friday. I will take you with me to a cafe because I love going to cafes to work. It's very relaxing to see just a lot of people moving around. Uh, it feels, feels good sometimes, especially now working alone here. So let's go. By the way, this is my layout for recording time lapses while working on my laptop, just so you know. As I said, most of this day was devoted to research and planning, but I did manage to sneak in a little bit of 3D modeling. So I started creating a simple table. I tried to do all the dimensions as they would be in real life as to keep a realistic scale, especially inside VR, that's very important. In the end, I wanted to try it out on Unity, but uh, it, it was taking a million years to open, so I just went home.
So yeah, I did manage to get a little bit of work done while waiting at the maternity clinic. By the way, I'm not talking to myself. My wife was there. I'm not that crazy yet. I tweaked the table model a bit and then started creating a chair. Can't have a table without a chair. If you have a table without a place to sit down, I am going to the next bar. Thank you very much. After the small chair, I decided to create a wardrobe. I had some trouble as I decided to do some model optimization in the beginning for some reason and ended up screwing myself into a corner and having to start over, but after that newbie mistake I was well on my way. The wardrobe is an important model to have as soon as possible as it will allow me to create and test the systems for opening the doors and the drawers so you can fully explore your environment. And that was it for Monday. I spent most of the free time I had this day to just keep working on the wardrobe, the insides especially. Added some very simple knobs, just so I have something to interact with when I start laying down the systems. Yeah, that was basically it for this day. Not a lot of interesting stuff happening on the screen on this one, sorry for that. Basically I was creating the crouching system in VR, which will ultimately be necessary to change, but I will go into that a little bit more in detail at the end of this video during the weekly results. After this I worked on getting the game to run in non-VR without launching the Steam VR app, which is a universal problem with VR and non-VR games, at least from personal experience as a consumer. I did not record any time-lapse of this, so I just decided to add this in here. And with all that said and done, bring on the results. Alright, so here we are, and uh, before I go on, I just want to say one thing. Going forward, I'm going to start working on stuff that is more vital to the story of the game. And uh, that kind of stuff I am not going to show in these videos. These videos will mostly revolve around um, mechanics and simple 3D stuff, maybe audio, not maybe, definitely audio, and uh, other stuff. But uh, anything that has spoilers or anything I will not be putting in these videos. If anything, I am going to save those and uh, maybe release a making of or something or just make a video about the development of the game way after the game was released so i don't want to spoil anything yeah so anyway here we go i made this table right now i'm just doing blocking 3d so everything looks hideous it does not matter these are blockings later on they will have more details they will have actual good textures i just want to have something that i can see in the game actually uh why not do some live editing here let me just make the UV a little more detailed because why not let's make it like a three yeah that looks better okay just so it doesn't look too pixelated or something there you go save that so I, I made this quick table I did it at, a, at the cafe I uh, I edited a little bit afterwards and then I did 
this chair again looks her horrible does not matter uh, just a simple chair just to test scale and stuff like that and finally I'm working on this wardrobe which is not finished yet put this in material there you go um, the doorknobs are just temporary doesn't matter the doors open like that there you go uh, rotate this one yeah you have drawers inside yeah, you can see it more like this yeah so doing that wardrobe that's it in terms of 3d that's what happened this week so let's jump into unity and I'll, I'll show you what I did over there all right so there's actually not that much to show over here on unity to be completely honest um, most of what I did was put the 3d models in here so I could check them out I did tweak the height in VR and non VR I'll show you that later in VR I'll explain this cube in a little bit uh, I was checking the scale because the scale seemed very wrong and I'm sure I already went into detail on this but uh, yeah, I yeah I this scale is here because I was checking out like the height of the doors and stuff because it, it seemed a little bit wrong yeah and then we have this cube and the reason I had this cube is because well right now nothing has collision I didn't add collision to anything yet I'm just testing various things that don't require collision uh, but right now I'm starting to work on a collision so I added this cube here just to test it out like so I cannot move forward all right but I can crouch and go under there you go and uh, no I do not want to save the scene right now if you get up under the cube uh, you will break everything and then if you try to move well you can't so yeah I need to fix that but in terms of non VR that's that's basically it so let's uh, before we jump into VR I want to show you something else so here we have Steam I have my, my game on there as you can see I have 139 hours of testing the thing that I also did was uh, I uploaded a build to Steam just to test the playing it in VR and non VR because I was a little afraid that for people with VR even choosing to play non VR would try to launch the Steam VR and that actually happened I don't think I have time-lapse footage of this because it was really boring just testing launching the game and closing it so uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't record that but it was very late last night so I don't remember much of what happened late last night because I was really sleepy and I couldn't go to sleep so I put it up on Steam and voila the problem was actually as I expected so even if trying to run the game in non VR, you would launch Steam VR. But eventually, I found a way to prevent that. And basically, if you're watching this and if you work with Unity, all you really need to do is the first SDK for virtual reality over here should be none, and then whatever SDK you want to use. In my case, I want to use Open VR. And in code, you just have to start Open VR when you get the launch parameter dash VR. In my case. So that, that fix it, and I'm, I'm gonna display it right here, so let's click play, you see? You can play into dust, or you can launch into dust in VR. So let's play into dust, and here we go. We have the non-VR version running. Don't have any problems with it launching Steam VR or anything like that. Now I'm gonna get out of here. Alright, so let's launch it in VR. See what happens. Launch it in VR. There we go. It's launching Steam VR. Hopefully that shows up on the screen as well. It's not appearing on the screen. Oh, there we go. It's appearing now. There we go. It's starting VR. Let me get the headset. It's not moving yet because it's still detecting the lighthouses. But as soon as it does, we will have movement. Of course, when you are actually playing the game, there will be a menu and everything. So you are not starting, starting on the ground and waiting for the lighthouses to wake up. And usually people just launch the game from inside VR already, so this kind of stuff will not happen. I'm just glad it works, man. That's all. There you go. I'm just glad it works. So, we have VR. So let's jump back into Unity and I will show you what I did uh, in VR. It was not that much, but there's some stuff to show. Boring, boring. There we go. All right, so let's change this to VR enabled, and to better show what is happening, um, I think this this 
should be a good way to view it. You're going to see the player collision. That's the important part on what I did. Unfortunately, this is actually something that I'm going to have to change because I realized some stuff and I will tell you in a little bit. But first, I'm going to show you what it is. Let's launch it. So here we are. Here's the stuff I added. There's the actually let, let me walk over there here. Uh, there's a little frame. It's because I have a lot of things open right now. So it, it's not actually how the game runs. The game runs really no problemo. It runs really well. Doesn't matter right now. So here is the thing I did. And you probably already noticed it from me moving my head around is that uh, I can crouch in VR. So the collision actually follows my height. And uh, th I wanted to do this for a long time. I thought games should do this. And it's all fine and dandy. Everything works perfectly fine, no problem. If I try to go through this, I can't, as you can see. Uh, but if I crouch, then I can go, no problem. So that is all working fine. Of course, I can, I can still crouch and stand up in here. And that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> but the problem with this is that when I am moving outside of the center of the play area, the collision does not follow me. So I can still walk through this, no problem. And I don't want that. So the way I am going to try to fix this is uh, give the head a collision and uh, give the center of the play area a collision, maybe, I don't know yet. I have to plan, I have to test, because it's a very sensitive subject, like collision in VR. I have to be very careful not to do stuff that will make people sick. So yeah, that, that's it for VR. Also, I have to apologize for the audio quality over there because my lavalier mic is not working. I have to use my desk microphone again. Whew, I'm sweating already, man, it's hot. Why is it so hot? It was cold yesterday. What are you doing, weather? So yeah, that's everything that I did this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as I said, next few weeks will be a little scarce, maybe like this one. Maybe they will be around the same as this one in terms of progress. But I am moving to a nicer place. It will be very, very nice. It will probably give me a boost in motivation because I've been working on this same place for a year and a half almost now. So that, that will feel good. That will be really good for me. If you like that, leave me a like, drop a comment down below if you wish to. Uh, if you like my stuff, please remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.